Now I was a play horse you pull with a string With wheels where my legs should be And he was the boy who pulled the toy around the treehouse tree For the longest time there was just us two The boy and the horse that was me Until the day the purple bear Came to live in the treehouse tree Well, it was early one spring, I was tied by my string in a field of the make-believe farm when around the house the boy and the bear came marching arm in arm. Well, this is Biff, said the boy to me. He's the friendly purple bear. And Biff stooped down and stroked my mane with a paw of purple hair. Biff has come to stay, said the boy, and pretend with me and you. And he can do anything that a boy and a toy believe purple bears can do. And taking the cue, Biff bowed from the waist and leaped and clicked his heels. Then down to the ground in three somersaults that ended in four card wheels. He whirled and twirled and stood on his head. The boy giggled and slapped his side. And I laughed so hard that wooden tears rolled out of my painted eyes. So Biff came to stay in the treehouse tree and long days came without end. For the boy and the toy and the purple bear and serious games are pretend. Well, like the cowboy game with the boy as sheriff and Biff as the bandit king. That always ended with all the outlaws in the jail by the long rope swing. And the great pony race that lasted for days around the flower bed. That was a tough one. But lucky for us, I won by a wooden head. And the day we entered the pirate's cove, neath the bush on the alley side, Biff with a sword and a paper hat and a pass across the purple eye. Well, there was always a danger of outlaws or Indians or creatures from outer space. And without the curries of the three of us, we might have lost the whole place. But we were bound by the code of the musketeers and such golden hours were shared by the freckle-faced boy and the wooden horse toy and Biff the purple bear. But as summers passed, the boy grew taller and his voice took a strange new ring and his visits were few to the treehouse tree and never to the long rope swing. Biff the purple bear grew sad as he climbed down the treehouse tree. He shook his head, I'm afraid, he said. He's forgotten, you and me. It seems, old wooden friend of mine, we've outlasted his boyhood years. Then he turned and was gone across the lawn in a trail of purple tears. Now I've been put to pasture in the old treehouse, but at times I've seen from afar a strange tall boy who mows the lawn and tinkers about his old car. But just today I look past the house and down the sidewalk, I'll swear. Came a new little boy with a wooden horse toy, followed by a purple bear. <laughs>